Peter, uh, a step back in the right direction and a, a solid point at home. What was your assessment on that one? Yeah, I think that we've, we've earned our point today without doubt. I think the performance was, was better. Um, but, you know, the one, the one thing that we did do tonight was we cut out the individual mistakes that seem to be costing us every week at the moment. Um, of course, they had a little bit of pressure. They're a top six side um, and we're, we're not. At the moment, but we, uh, but we've we've worked hard tonight, and the team have put in a, a battling performance. And as we said before, we know it's in them, and and I don't think the results have pretty have reflected all of our performances. But at the end of the day, we are in a results, you know, results based business. And at the end of the day, we, it's it's been difficult. It's been a difficult week. So for them to show the character to come here at home today and and then to perform like they have done, it's you know they've they've had a big pat on the back tonight. You talk about that little bit of Hartlepool pressure <clears> at the end, but I thought we started the second half really brightly. Yeah, we started we started both halves brightly, as we did on Saturday, as we did on Tuesday. We've started, you know, we've started every game brightly so far. But as I said, but we've been we've been harshly punished for for them little mistakes that we make. Um, and and tonight we weren't. We didn't make them mistakes tonight, and we we kept that pressure up. And uh, I think having James back in the middle of the park with Woody, that little bit of experience. Um, you know, I think uh, was was good for us tonight because they're they're leaders and they you know they lead from the middle of the park and they've got Ben behind them, um, so they drag people into place. So I think that was good. So it was like I said, we were we were happy with what what we saw tonight. And like I said, now it's about building, you know, starting again. And we've pressed the reset button again, and we've we've had a decent performance tonight and a, and a good result. And uh, and now it's time to start building on that in in the league. After conceding for Saturday, Scott's not really made. A save this evening that must yeah. please you from a defensive point of view. We look solid all evening, and this is it. I think that you know you look at as we've alluded to earlier on. You look at the stats. Woken had seven shots on Saturday. We had nine. We both had four shots on target. All four of them went in. So like I said, so that's how we're being punished. And it's and, it, and it's a cruel game. And it, but it's you know you've got to earn your luck. And uh, like I said, I'm not saying that we didn't deserve to lose the game. Uh, because they took their chances, but but you know Scott hasn't been that busy, particularly busy. You know you look at the results and you say, well, surely he's been peppered, but he's not. You know, I think Kings Lynn they went away with two goals, two 0 victory, and they probably had three shots on target the whole night. Um, but unfortunately, it's just it's just the way it's working for us at the moment, and the only way to get out of that now is, like I said to the players, and we've said all week, is to roll our sleeves up and to get back to the hard work and to try and cut out the mistakes if we can. And they've done that tonight. And like I said, it wasn't it wasn't a classic performance, but it was a positive performance, and one that was full of character and, and full of and full of desire. We just needed that that goal to, to top yeah. it off. We made it a couple of chances, but you'd think with a bit of confidence on the back of this, the chances will start coming as well. I think if we can cut out the mistakes, and I think that everyone will start to build on the confidence from tonight and from what, what we've done tonight, um, and then they'll they'll start to look forward, and then our play will then be crisper and sharper in that final final third because obviously everyone's concerned about you know how many goals we've been conceding and so everyone's probably had their defensive heads on even the forward players because we don't want to get beat easily and we want to you know we want to try and sharp shop a little bit but we can't do that with the sacrifice of not creating chances but I thought we created some chances tonight and they were only half ones at, at sometimes but um but they were chances and uh, like I said and, and as as we gain in our confidence and we you know, we start to get players back and, and pushing for places, then, then like I said, the, the, I think that the goals will start to flow as well. You mentioned earlier about James Dunn being back and mm. that seemed to play a big part in tonight's game. He just does the, the dirty side of the game so yeah. well and he's that calming head that we need in, in midfield as well. I think he's one of them ones that you know, he, he dictates the way, the, the way we play. You know, he, 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 he shouts at the boys and gets them going and gets them into the right slots. Um, from, the, from the pitch, it's difficult when we're doing it from the sideline because it's, when he's on there and he's doing it, um, like I said, so he's a, so he's a, he's a proper leader, and like I said, it was nice to have him back tonight, and he's managed to get through the game, and now he'll need a, a day or two's rest and recovery, and then obviously we'll get prepared and ready for for the game on Sunday. It was really unfortunate, I thought, for Xander because I felt like he'd started the game so well, and then to, to yeah. pick up an injury is a real shame for him. It is, but that seems to be the way we're going at the moment. We you know we bring players in, they do really well, and they look. You know, they're looking like they're going to gain some, get some prompt, and we're going to get a, so a good season out of them. And then they keep picking up injuries. And uh, first look size, it doesn't look too clever. It's it's a hamstring, but it could be a little while. So hopefully it's not because he's a, he's a great kid and he's a he's a he's a bright bright talent. And uh, like I said, he's he done well on Saturday. He was one of the ones that did okay Saturday, and then uh, and then tonight he started really brightly. But unfortunately, he's just picked up that injury. 
got a couple of other knocks in, in, <laughs> in Matt Preston and, and Josh Walker, notably. <clears throat> We've got an update on those two. Yeah, well, Josh is, uh, Josh is not too far away, um, but he's still not full training yet. Um, Matt Preston uh, played, with a, played with his ankle injury, actually, on, on Tuesday night against Kings Lynn. Um, and said it wasn't that bad, but we've since found out that it's, it's going to be maybe a, a month or two, um, which is real bad news for us and for him. Um, but but unfortunately, like I said, that's the way our luck seems to be going at the moment. And we've had Xander tonight, and we've had Elliot a couple of weeks ago. So it's not you know not little knocks and bumps and bruises. It seems to be you know their their long term injuries at the minute, which is which is not helping. Um, so yeah, but but. Matt's going to be out for a, for a month or two. Um, Josh is not far off. Tyrone's not too far off. But we, but again, we need to be careful with both of them because they've been out an awful long time now, and they need to now get back into training and get a, two or three, four, five days on training under their belt before we even consider to start with them. But they certainly can play a part from coming off the bench. That's good. Uh, Harry Taylor stepped into centre back. Um, he really seems to help. A defensively, he plays like a such more experienced player than, than he is. And yeah. Your style of wanting to pass the ball out from the back, he does that brilliantly from his role when he plays in midfield. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, Harry's Harry's versatility is 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 a, is, is you know, to be uh, commended because, like I said, he goes in there, no qualms, does his job for the team, um, and he's and he's a pretty solid seven out of ten every week. Um, you know, obviously, I know that he's been concerned about his form in the middle of the park. Um, but, he, but he needn't be because he's like I said he's a, you can rely on him he's one of the ones that always is always consistent um, so like I said but he's you know, like I said he's, 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 that's why we make him captain when James is not fit because we know he's reliable and he's going to give us 7 out of 6 7 out of 10 every single game so and he's slotted in again tonight and it's not his natural position and he's not you know he's not built like a natural centre half so you know, but he does he does amazingly well back there with a bit of a confidence boost on, on getting that point on the board after the, the last week, we can head into what's an exciting FA Cup tie on Sunday now. Well, it'll be certainly a, a much happier week. I mean, it, the lads have been great, like I said, this week. I mean, it's been a really tough week for everybody. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, with everything that's gone on and obviously training yesterday. Um, but they've turned up, they've been out there, they've worked extremely hard um, and, uh, and they've stuck together and they've got their results tonight. And now I know that this week coming up now will be a, an even better week because they've enjoyed their performance tonight. They're all in there with their legs hanging off, but that's how it should be. But, they're, but they've enjoyed it, they're smiling, and um, we'll look to get some work done. And then we can look forward to, like I said, it's, it's, again, it's, a, um, it's not a freebie, but it's a, it's a game that we can look forward to where there is no pressure on us.